Well, as the days get shorter and the air becomes more and more crisp, a lot of people are hit with a wave of anxiety and unease. It's what some have dubbed the September scaries. It's a mix of melancholy as summer comes to an end and the stress of returning to school, work and looking ahead to the looming holiday season. But the September scaries aren't something that just affect kids. They can affect adults and hit them just as hard. I spoke to a DMC psychologist about how to identify the September scaries and Metro Detroiters about how they manage this time of change. The end of summer is a time of change. Kids head back to school and college, and for adults, the pace of work often accelerates. I work in retail, so Q4 is the, it's showtime for us. It's the biggest time of year, so there's extra pressure. And fall is when we start preparing for all of that. For others, the shorter days, the gray skies can all be a trigger. I'm losing, I'm losing the sunshine. Seasonal depression is going to start soon. Their transition from the freedom and long days of summer to the grind of fall is called by many the September scaries. It's the emotional state that those transitions cause or create. Sometimes it's anxiety, depression. Sometimes people just say, I just don't feel right. I don't feel the same. I'm feeling a little gloomy. DMC psychologist Dr. LaSonia Barlow says in most cases, the September scaries resolve on their own as we adapt to the new demands. But for some of us, the struggle may last for weeks and months especially for kids. Oftentimes, children do not have the words or the verbiage to identify how they're feeling. Parents should look for different behavioral changes, maybe not sleeping as well, maybe bedwetting. Or more tearful mornings, or being more emotionally volatile. Changes in school performance and sliding grades can all be a sign. Dr. Barlow says the first step is to talk to your child about how they're adjusting and what's bothering them and to also highlight the exciting aspects of the school year, new friends, favorite subjects, and fun extracurriculars. And looking towards the positive works for adults too. It's more looking forward to the things I get to do in the winter, like going up north, going up to the UP. For snowshoeing, skiing, and snowmobiling. I try and take some time, like make sure I enjoy fall activities, go to apple orchards, and check out all the great things that happen in Michigan at fall time. Heartbreak for the summer, and then excitement for the spooky season. That positive outlook is what Dr. Barlow calls having a vacation mindset. Having something to look forward to. On the weekend, have plans, going out to lunch with friends, doing something to really indulge in self-care. As for managing the increase in family and work demands, Lindsay Smith says for her, it's all about systems and routines. I feel like this is like a good time for systems and routines. I'm a huge planner, so I use my Google Calendar. I put everything into block scheduling. Yeah, I'm very organized with, with that. All right, so here are the key takeaways. Both kids and adults can experience these September scaries. Most of us adjust in just a couple of weeks, but kids may struggle a little more in part because they have difficulty expressing their anxiety verbally. So parents will need to be on the lookout for behavioral changes. Adults can ease the stress by getting organized, practicing self-care and keeping a vacation mindset. But if that anxiety lingers, seeking help, help from a healthcare professional might help you learn strategies necessary to adjust to the September scaries and other seasonal challenges. So it's certainly something